you can see, we have a fantastic audience this morning on this Star Studded Friday. You guys look amazing, by the way. Carpet ready, and we're gonna hear from them in just a moment. But right now, you Jackman, you're here, man. You're helping us, you're helping us kick off Oscar weekend. We're grateful for that. And you and I just had a brief moment to talk about your movie Logan. Yep. And um, I'm done talking about it. I want to watch a clip. So everybody, <laughs> check this out. I need the girl. What girl? I know you went to the motel. Yeah, it was cold there. There was no girl. It was just a woman. So. <sighs> You saw Gabrielle, but you didn't call me. <laughs> See, you're not the only one that's been enhanced. It's not going to end well. You, you, you know how to build the suspense, man. You know how to build the suspense. And um, Logan, it hit theaters March 3rd, and... Um, Wow, that's all I can say. You know right? how to okay. grow a beard, too. Yeah. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> that I can do. Although, Deb is kind of happy those days. Yeah, yeah, gone. I can get that. I understand. But, yeah. but now we're going to talk about the Oscars, which are two days away. Yeah. And you, like you said, you hosted the show. And what do you think Jimmy Kimmel's going through right now? What's going through his mind? I, right now, he's probably quite relaxed because he will know what his show is. And now you go into this thing of, of, of camera rehearsals, and he'll be today's Friday, so he'll be at the stage today. So it's mm. his first run through on the stage, and it'll be finally hitting him. Um, and, you know, that guy is a pro. I, I love Jimmy, and I think he's going to be so excited. It's this moment you'll never forget. My goal was to have the time of my life, whether it worked or not, because, you know. You had quite an elaborate number. Yeah. Uh, what was yeah. the thing you were most worried about or nervous? about before going on the elaborate number <laughs> <laughs> and, and the billion people watching you actually have yeah. a clip of, of how you did Let, let's take a look because i am hugh jackman <laughs> and i've waited so long and no recession can stop my confession or silence my song Dan and Rob, uh, the, the recession was on, the sort of great recession, and so they said, let's do the budget Oscars. And they came up with this idea. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. But, but go ahead, I'm sorry, You're out touring with your movie right now, uh, right now as well. What are you getting wh when you're out there? What kind of, what kind of reaction? Have you been getting it? Uh, for the movie? Mm -hmm. Yeah, really, really strong. I think we tried to make something that didn't feel like a comic book movie. We wanted it to be a love letter to the fans, but a movie that pe people have never, ever seen a comic book movie would go to. And I think people are surprised by it. Um, and it's been really, really gratifying. And uh, thankfully, even though this is my last one, people are like, no, don't, don't make it, it really a last one. It really is your last one. Yeah, yeah, you took a little yeah. souvenir away? Uh, oh, many. Set. Oh, many. <laughs> on the very first X-Men, someone knocked on my door on the last day with a garbage bag with this X-Men suit. Oh. And they said, they said, you should keep this. And I said, oh, there's like ten of them. He says, nine have gone. Take this one. <laughs> it's like Tom Brady's jersey. Yeah, like Tom Brady's jersey, man. <laughs> you know, the reason, one of the reasons, our good friend Jerry Seinfeld, I, we were having dinner together for his birthday, and I was asking him about finishing his series, and he said, it's important to know when to go. Mm. Not as in finishing on top, but... No, it, that as a creative person, if you tap yourself out and you've gone too long, it's almost impossible to kind of keep going. And you feel like you've afterwards. left it all in the oh, film. Oh, yeah. It, it, every, every frame of this film I put everything into, and I, I owe it to the fans. I'm so grateful to the fans, and, uh, yeah, this is my love letter to them. <laughs> I tell you, you watch the film. You watch, you watch the film, and um, you, you did put everything. You and, and Patrick Stewart, everybody put everything into this film. It, it, it's a great film. And you've done this nine times. You've played yeah. this character nine times. But I hear when you love stage, like you're a great theater performer, and when you got this role, your wife wasn't too excited that you took this role as Wolverine. There was a worldwide search going out. I was a guy, I was in London doing a musical, Oklahoma, and a worldwide <laughs> search came out. Three pages came through, and I was reading the scene with her. So she's looking, and she goes, okay, Wolverine sense his danger, his nostrils flare, and snicked, S-N-I-K-T, claws come out of his hand. She goes, Hugh, this is <laughs> She literally threw the pages on the ground. I said, oh, I'm going to give it a go. She goes, you're on your own. <laughs> the only time, I might add, she has ever been wrong. Ever. <laughs> ever. <laughs> She's watching. 
me too. I, I really shouldn't have told that story. I'm sorry. Sorry, baby. Sorry, baby. But you know what? You've taken it. You've run with it. You've made it. You've made it great. We're happy that you decided to give us Logan, something that we can we can How be happy. How long did you play football for? Uh, 15 years. 15. So and you I'm, know what it's like. And right? I knew at that point I could have gone on a few more. And I said yeah. enough is enough. I want to leave, and just like you did, with people wanting more. Oh. Very important. <laughs> Very important. But you know what's annoying? You're one of the few who leave. Like now, I'm like, I don't have to be on that Wolverine diet. I'm going Mario Batista. I'm just going to eat. Yeah. Like, <laughs> but you're in better shape. This is very annoying for me. Man. <laughs> Enjoy it. And, and, you know, speaking of eating, it looks like, I don't know if that's candy or chocolate that they have there. Speaking of eating, let's go back to Robin and Lara. What you got going on there, ladies? Thank you, everyone. It's wonderful to see Hugh looking so well. Yes. Dapper as always and such. One of our... Our favorites in Good Morning yep. America. But we are here on the red carpet just outside the Dolby Theater. Hugh Jackson knows, uh, Hugh Jack, he knows that very well. Oh, yeah, here. having yeah. hosted. And... Mm -hmm. But the Oscars with acclaimed chef Wolfgang Puck, he is All dishing right. the famous Ball and this fabulous menu Good for all the winners. Hey, Wolfie. Good morning. How, How are you? Are you? Hi, Wolfie. Hello. How I know we've got a hungry you? audience here. I know. Oh. We brought them a lot of food. They're going to get our Oscars to taste everything. So. We, we could not have a pre Oscar show without you. You yep. have been doing this for 23 I years. I know. You'll be in high school. I did the Oscars <laughs> no, no. already. Thank you. So, what is the theme for this year? Well, this, you know, it's always about the Oscars. So, we always make some traditional things like I know, like Barbara Streisand loves mm. the chicken pot pine. <laughs> uh, Miss De Viola Davis loves our macaroni and cheese with the place short trips. Yes. And then we make oh. some modern things. We have some uh, vegan things. Even Eric Sheperic made some vegan pasta. And then we sauteed them with some uh, spinach and so mushrooms good. and some wonderful distilled carrot juice so you get all the flavor. Oh, mix. And then yeah. after you eat dinner, you get the dessert. You know, we're going to have an amazing chocolate bar where, uh, where you can have chocolate souffles, like a little tiramisu, oh, little like opera and cakes. Chocolate oh, factory. man, it's great. Exactly. <laughs> Willy, Willy Wonka. It. I'm going to be Willy Wonka. You are. And you, and you are the only person who is allowed yeah. to make your golden Oscar statue. I know. Statues. The Academy is so stingy, they don't want me to give them more. <laughs> so as as soon as the Oscars are over, they, they take, take them away. Yeah. And they only if not, they make making business out of it, but so they don't the want to. So the only one makes yeah. the mold. What is so special what? and what is this gold coating? This is 24 karat gold and look at that. Edible? Oh, you look can eat them. I look forward to that every year. <laughs> he does that. Never gets old. <laughs> Pretty good for breakfast. Yeah, I know. And you have so many wonderful people who help you. Uh, I know. And, and we have Eric. We have Eric there. And Justin Thank and you, Chef Eric. Kamel yeah. and Alan, they're here. So they're all up early in the morning and they finish at 2 in the morning. And so. you have that as well on Sunday. So many people that are there with you. I know, 1,600 people. I have 300 chefs in the kitchen and 600 waiters in the dining wow. room. Yeah. And we'll save a lot for no, you, too. Please, Thank you. Save we'll be there. We will we'll, be there, Governor's we'll, Ball. Well, while you're doing that, while yeah. you're getting prepared for the after party, we have a wonderful audience that's here with us. And one person is going to win two tickets to be on this red carpet, carpet before. Oh, you guys ready? Yeah. Right. yeah, so who is it going to be? Come on in, Fozzie. All right. All right, so we're going to pick a number out of this very high-tech okay. fishbowl. Fishbowl, come um, on. Now, really dig around. Dig around. Yeah. Dig yeah. Okay. Okay. Mix it up. Mix it up. Steer it up. Heat it up. Oh. All right. All right. Okay. Robin, the number is? The number is? <laughs> do you know do you know who you're gonna bring with you? Um probably Anna. Oh, Yay! Oh, wonderful. Is there anybody you'd like oh, to thank? Congratulations. This is your moment. This is my parents. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we have to tell you that all the leftover food from the governor's ball will be given to the charity Chefs to End Hunger. That's and great. Wolfgang spent yeah. sent a special treat to New York for you guys as well. Some okay. chocolate Oscars. Well, so enjoy. Everybody gonna taste our enjoy. food. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thanks, thank thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you to Wolfgang Puck. There we go. And since they got all those, uh, you know, got to say thank you to Wolfgang Puck for this. And since they got all those surprises in L.A. and here in New York, you guys are sitting here. Everybody's looking so dapper. You, you have a little surprise for the audience. Yes, I do. I would love to invite the audience to see a special screening of Logan. Uh, <laughs> 